Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x over 2 equal to 16. Okay, this is very simple because we know what we are going to do. From here we have square root of 2 to the power of x plus here we can have 2 to the power of um, 1 over 2. Now, this is to the power of x, right? And this is equal to 16. And then, I can just turn this around, okay? It is either x comes in and 1 over 2 goes out. And in that case, we are going to have... Um, okay, before then, let's work on this. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2 because that is the same as square root of 2 to the power of x then plus here I'll pick 2 to the power of x then this power of 1 over 2 will go out still the same thing and this is equal to 16 now what do we do we now have 2 to the power of x you know to the power of 1 over 2 in two places right this means that we have 2 of 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2 okay they are the same thing and if we add both of them this is what we have and this will be equal to 16 now what is wrong if we divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 2 will cancel to right then 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2 will be equal to 16 divided by 2 and that is 8 now what can I do from here I can work on the right hand side so we have 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 2 to the power of 3 now the bases are the same so we can equate the powers the powers are x multiplied by 1 over 2 equal to 3 now this means that x over 2 is equal to 3 and then this is over 1 I can cross multiply x times 1 is x and that will be equal to 2 times 3 which is 6 so this is the value of x that we have according to the equation but we can try this out to see if we are right or wrong the original equation is square root of 2 to the power of x plus 2 x over 2 being equal to 16 now we are having x to be 6 so we have square root of 2 to the power of 6 then plus 2 to the power of 6 over 2 now if I process this are we going to have 16 let's give it a try now remember that this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6 then to the power of 1 over 2 then plus here we have 2 to the power of 3 because 6 divided by 2 is 3 right then from here let's continue 2 can actually go here so we have 3 we have 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so we have 8 plus 8 and that is giving us 16 and if we check very well you see that it is 16 we had on the right hand side so this is to confirm that our x to be equal to 6 is very correct thank you for watching